How's it going folks, Stu here. Long time no see. Bunch of films have been dropping at the moment, don't know if you noticed. We got a chat about some. One of the ones I've been most excited to check out was Close, which is one of the best international film submissions this year at the Oscars. It's from Lucas Don. I missed it at last year's London Film Festival and everyone said, hey, that was good. Uh, so I spent months going, why, why did I have to miss it? But it's finally out in UK cinemas. I went and saw it as you tend to do when films come out in cinemas and my eyeballs got wet. As I'm hearing that, it doesn't sound like I'm saying I was crying. It sounds like a, it was a 4D showing or something. I sat in a splash zone and got, no, I cried a bunch. So Close is the latest film from Lucas Don, a director who I actually haven't seen any of his work prior to this. He previously did a film called Girl, but this one's about two young boys that are going into the secondary school phase of their education and they are, as the title might suggest, very good friends. They're very close, if you will. But school being school, two young boys being that close end up getting a lot of heat, a lot of scrutiny on the playground and a rift ends up forming between the two boys, which ultimately leads to somewhere altogether more devastating. And straight out of the bat, this was immediately an incredibly absorbing little drama. And I think the first thing that stood out to me right from the get-go were the performances from the two young boys in the film who were both doing brilliant work. Leo and Remy are played respectively by Eden Dabreen and Gustave de Vale. I hope I haven't just done terrible things with your names there. But crucially for the film, they both have a genuine sort of chemistry on screen together. It feels like a very authentic, small childhood relationship at the helm of the film here, which needs to be got right if you want the film to be as successful as it needs to be later on. And Don's direction and screenplay, along with the two leads here, really does form an immediately likeable friendship on screen for us. It's just very pleasant watching these two on screen together. I really enjoyed the way that their relationship is built up in the film. The first act of this thing is just this really kind of genuinely heartwarming and, and lovely look through childhood friendships, which paves the way really effectively for the drama that's yet to unfold in the film as we go through. And it's a sort of drama which never kind of forces itself onto you. It just unfolds in a really authentic and sincere way, which makes it all the more effective when things do start eventually hitting the fan. And that creates this really kind of bittersweet feeling where you know that some of the stuff you're watching isn't going to be ending well. Don is able really effectively here to just kind of establish and sit in that pocket of that feeling of a real deep kind of crushing twistingness within you. And that's pulled out especially effectively with a screenplay which is really impressively able to focus and highlight on the things that aren't said between characters. And I think that's probably the strongest thing that I felt coming out of this film is just how well Dont was able to really pull apart the things that people don't say to each other in conversations when you know they want to be. There are a handful of scenes in this film which are so heartbreaking because they are just characters talking mundanely but expressing so much more through their eyes and through what we can clearly tell they're begging to say to each other but aren't. And that's a really interesting human characteristic and emotion to display on screen. It can be often quite tricky to get right because if you don't have a performance delivering that dialogue that is able to capture so much in the unspoken, you can sort of end up just coming off as a little bit contrived and forced and at its worst, dull and boring and uninteresting. But this film is thankfully none of those things and all of the moments of quiet in here feel so rich with subtext. And actually in doing that, it makes for a much more kind of snowballing dramatic and emotional effect as opposed to just kind of throwing big crescendos at you, which is always something that I really appreciate in films. I find that if a film's able to kind of gradually get me to somewhere without having to take my hand and just throw me into the pit, I'll often resonate more with it afterwards and it will sit with me. And that's what happened with Close. It's the sort of film which kind of just creeps and creeps and creeps on you and then just you just feel a little bit... <laughs> brutalized in the heart at the end of it all. I will say that there was a point in the film towards the middle half when it starts to reveal what it's really about that it did threaten to kind of fall into some of the frustrations I often have with films like this sometimes. And I'm trying not to say too much because having gone into it not knowing anything about what it was about, I think it was more effective being sort of surprised and revealed to in the moment. But there's a tendency sometimes with stories like this to pivot perspectives in a way which feels ultimately kind of disappointing, I guess, 
to the themes that they're trying to tackle. But I think that Don does a really good job of understanding how to keep specific characters framed in the narrative of the film and how to make sure that it's streamlined around what those characters want, if that makes much sense. But man, some of those latter scenes are just stupidly crushing and it all just comes back to me, to the performances. It's one of those films which, yes, is doing a lot of great stuff as I've explained in the screenplay and the direction and in knowing how to tackle the tone and atmosphere of the film. But ultimately, if it doesn't have the performances it has, a lot of that falls flat. So I think getting these performances, especially from young people, from kids really, is so impressive and to get it continuously through the film and to never really falter in the performance department is especially impressive. I loved what the two boys are doing here and what Emile Quen as the mother in the film, uh, well one of the mothers in the film, was doing for her performance. They're all just so great together and in their own separate ways at dealing with the themes that are brought up in the film of grief and of guilt and that kind of Venn diagram crossover of grief and guilt which is a very difficult and complex specific human emotion to get right in films but I thought this was a worthwhile exploration of that and uh, an emotionally resonant and effective exploration of that. Definitely one which did leave me with a slight tinge of <laughs> somewhat regret uh, in that I didn't see it at the film festival last year and had to wait like what half a year to eventually catch it damn it but these things happen but as I said it's out in UK cinemas at the moment so if you've had a chance to check it out do let me know what you thought about Close in the comments down below and we'll have a little chat were you as emotionally bruised by these young performances as I was. Good God. Of course, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see me talk about more shit, go ahead and click subscribe. The button is down there for you to do that, but you already, you already knew that. I don't know why I had to explain it. But you can also find links to my socials as well as a 30 day free trial for Mubi down there, which surprise, surprise, this is a Mubi film. So it'll be dropping on streaming, I believe, mid-April. So you can watch it there if you fancy waiting a little while, but do go check it out in cinemas, you know, support good shit in our cinemas. I'll see you guys soon for some more thoughts on more films, but until next time, I need to buy a new box of tissues.